this video, I want to show you how you can create navigational buttons in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. When you start working with Power BI you'll know that you can create multiple pages within a report using the page button at the bottom. So you can uh, click the plus button to create another page for you to add different visuals in. And at the moment navigating between these different pages are the same for all reports and there's not a lot of way to customize this and luckily Power BI is quite flexible that you can create your own navigational buttons from scratch. So first of all let's create the four different pages that we'll use. So I'll just add four more here and we'll hide everything else besides the first page. Now what this will do when you publish this into the service is that it will actually disable this bar over here which gives you some more real estates for your reports. So the next thing that we'll need to do is to design our menu and at the moment we can't do it in Power BI but we'll actually do it in PowerPoint instead. So I have it here and we'll create a blank presentation right here. And this is where we'll design our menu. So you're probably wondering at this point, why are we moving to PowerPoint to create this navigational menu? So we'll use PowerPoint because it's the easiest way for you to do this. It gives you a lot of options in terms of customizing your layouts, the fonts, or even add images without adding necessary strain to your Power BI reports. You just import this as a page background and you're pretty much good to go. I covered this topic specifically in a different video. So if you're interested about the backgrounds, go check that one out. So we'll come back to the PowerPoint slides here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a different view for each of the pages that we have in Power BI. So we'll start with one and then we'll customize the rest. So let's start by just adding some background colors. So I'm going to just make it slightly gray here and I'm going to create the area where we want to show our visualizations and let's just customize this a little bit uh, maybe let's make the outline there's no outline and the shape fill is white and then we'll create a couple different tabs that we will use for the navigational buttons so we'll create four tabs specifically And we'll fill this with the same color as the background over there. Move this to the front. And now you have a very simple menu, right? And you can customize this even further to show the branding of uh, the report that you're building. But for now, we'll stick with this and we'll start building the first page. And to give the illusion that we have selected the first page, we'll go to this one and we'll make it the same color as this one so you'll see it's like a like the first tab here and for the different pages obviously we'll just need to change the colors for these different buttons and one thing in powerpoint that i really like is the ability for you to add different icons so let's say um, you want to show some uh, chart icon it's integrated in powerpoint so you don't have to look for it yourself you can just select what you need and that's it you're able to use it in your uh, design so it's pretty easy we can even add things like text to customize this even further so let's say we want to do daily trends I will just name it trends for now it doesn't matter but you get the idea so the idea is you're able to customize it as you need uh, how as how you need it and it gives the illusion that you have a navigational buttons in your power bi report I'm just change this to let's say anton and yeah you'd need to do it for all these different buttons and let's say once you're done you just need to create a new slide just duplicate this slide and then 
we'll need to um, change the fill here and then show us if this one is selected. So pretty easy, right? Now, luckily for you, I've already created something that looks a little bit nicer and I've had the chance to spend a bit more time on it. So these are the four different pages that we want. And as you can see, this is like the, uh, the navigational buttons as I was explaining, and it's pretty much made the same way that I was explaining earlier. So I've just added some, you know, different uh, icons here from the icon selection pane. I've added some, some writing uh, and the different tabs down here for the different pages. But not the only thing that it's missing are the different pages. So we'll start by duplicating these into four different ones. I'll speed this one up, but basically I'm just gonna change the colors and the fills to make it look like we have selected different menus in this uh, in these pages. So now that's done, we've created the different pages now. So as you can see, if I go to these uh, four different pages, you have the illusion of having a sort of menu style icons. What we'll need to do now is we'll save a copy, hit browse, go to my desktop, we'll name this, let's say backgrounds, and we'll save it as a PNG. PNG. Yep. So we want to export all of them. So we'll click all slides. And what it's done is it will create a folder which just has the exports of all of the different pages that we've created. So one, two, three, four. And from here, it's just a simple matter of adding it in your report as pages. So uh, what we'll need to do for each of the pages, we'll create a page background add image, slide one, and transparency to zero. We'll do the same for the rest of the pages as well. So now I've changed the page background for all the pages and I've also renamed them so you can distinguish them pretty easily. And now the last thing that we'll need to do is we'll actually need to create different buttons and we'll create a blank button from here. And what we'll do is we'll put it on top of all of these, like so, and we'll hide the outline and background. So it's a, it's a hidden button on top of these menu items. So I'll just copy and paste. This one as well. There we go. So we now have the four different buttons on top of these four. And now it's just a matter of adding some of the actions there. So from here, we want to add action. So if they click the health check, it should navigate them to the health check, um, health check page. And then we'll do the same thing here. Page navigation. So now if we click on that health check, you'll see that it takes you to the page and now you have a working menu button in your Power BI report. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to create navigational menu buttons in your Power BI reports. Thanks again for watching. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.